So welcome back to Yakuza Zero. Uh, we're starting chapter four today. Ah, uh, Nishiki got buff. <laughs> oh, Yodai. Oh. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really uncomfortable looking at Majima with both eyes. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's obviously very different. Jarring. So, so that is Taiga Saijima, who is, uh, he is basically, uh, Majima's Nishiki. Um, this is more, I guess this is expanding on stuff that happened in, like, the backstory to Yakuza 4. Hmm. But it is also important to Majima's character, so that's why we're getting it here, too. I just like how they've bought six guns with six rounds each, instead of getting moon clips, which would allow you to reload. <laughs> yeah, I don't quite remember the or i don't quite know the full reason for this i have not played yakuza 4. all pistols and revolvers are disposable is what video games and movies have told me uh, yeah <laughs> so i walk around the house like that all the time <laughs> マジマさん。And that's how it happened. All right, then. For, uh, for bonus points, the dagger used to uh, gouge out Majima's eye is the one that he is famously known for using in later Yakuza games. Another thing that if I, like we haven't mentioned it in a while, just because we haven't really gotten these cutscenes, but like it just sounds like they're thinking at each other. Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> just with like how echoey it is in here. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Majima was held back from going to the raid with uh, Saijima. And and so Majima ended up in the hole, the uh, the pit, as you will. Oh man, I remember Deadpool talking about this place. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was gonna say like he's gonna. You'll wish he did. <laughs> I would say, and he was never heard from again, but, you know. <laughs> he, uh, he survived his time in the pit. And he's apparently the only one to ever do so. Oh, 
Majima needs one of those PTSD dogs. He totally does. Right, let's get to it. Let's uh head on over to the Grand. Yeah, there's his radio, and that is basically the only thing he keeps in his apartment. So, yeah, um, I guess as you go along through the game, you'll get more uh, destinations from Dragon and Tiger. I may or may not have covered that in the one video we did with them already, though. Eh, whatever. I, I won't be doing a whole lot of that, because I, I honestly don't really use reusable weapons that much. <laughs> or sorry, breakable weapons. Right. So, I apparently didn't do enough research before going to the Odyssey in the last chapter, because I think if you uh, did perfectly, you would have gotten more girls and a Chivo. Right. Not that, you know, getting more girls really matters, because the Grand is kind of just a cutscene location. But the Chivo! Yeah, I know, I thought I got it, but I didn't. Alright, time to replay the last eight hours. Um... I don't even want to know how or think about how many hours that would actually be to replay. I do keep rolling saves though, so it wouldn't actually be a big deal. I like how he's saying that even while his like uh floor manager's right there. Yeah, piss does taste as good as I think. <laughs> and then you kept them waiting. I I did actually. Just to spite him, I did a bunch of sub stories around the park. <laughs> Hey, I'll be right with you. Just gotta help this lady out. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, I gotta finish my race. Well, I suppose we should get to it then. Yeah, the side tracks, the side stories. Meanwhile, I'm getting stuck on uh, the railings. I think you're just appreciating the beauty of uh, the environment. I mean, that is why I, I left the sequence in, because I really do like how the Grand looks. Okay, so Ashitaba Park's over in the, uh, the south side of town. Um, I think I actually did have a full telephone set here, so this is what happens when you show the card collectors the uh, full sets. He just gives you 5 million yen. Which, you know, that's not a bad reward for uh, what you gotta do. For being a horn dog, yeah. Also, here's uh, here, here's Majima's second Mr. Shakedown. I, I think... Wait, we've gone over him already, right? Yep. Okay, I, I could not remember. Yeah. Yeah, the greater cause. Does he have like a grandmother he needs to save from the hospital bills or something? I actually don't remember what this one's deal it was. Um... I... I, I feel like he's just perpetually angry, but I might be conflating him with a with a Kiryu second Mr. Shakedown. 
whatever, a couple shotgun slime blasts to the face and uh, he'll be fine. I like to think that it's like this horrible mistranslation and instead of slime gun, it's supposed to be crime gun. <laughs> That'd be pretty good. They're just like, crime gun? No, it's gotta be slime. <laughs> it's the only, only thing that would make sense. I, I think the slime gun is supposed to be just like, you know, a crowd area of, of effect kind of thing, just to like knock him down. Yeah, but then it'd be but, like riot gun. <laughs> yeah, I guess they accidentally l l uh, made it so you can use it on bosses and like Mr. Shakedown. So as we're running down to uh, running d on the west side of town down to the park, mm. we uh, this guy runs into us. Time to beat the shit out of him. Hi. I was gonna give him the benefit of the doubt and say that like if he really needed the restroom, then that's understandable. Mm. But if it's to pick up lift bomb, then yeah, those are some major problems. Anyway, he's been uh he's been hightailing it to places like day and night. Wonder what that's all about. It's this really weird thing called alternate reality games. Oh no. Yeah. You can just do everything with their phones. They have to actually like, run around everywhere, find the clues. Phones? What are those? This is the 80s, dude. Yeah, they have cell phones. No, I think they have. Fuck, I forgot what they were called. Like shoulder. Bag phones? Shoulder phones? Yeah, well, that was like one type of shoulder. Oh. <laughs> I have bonitis. Oh. Yeah, and I'd be like, I need this one specific type of lip chat because it soothes my ankles. <laughs> All right. So we're just going to give him a little bit of medicine to uh, help him out a little. Uh. It's all yours, kid. It's not like I don't have a billion of these in my pocket burning a hole. Yeah, and I just won a hundred million yen off a guy. <laughs> cool. Here. So he he's running himself ragged for for a lady. That's all. Ah, <laughs> uh, he's been being taken advantage of. Yeah. Kid, there there's more to life than uh running errands for a lady because they trust you. I was gonna say to get noticed, and it's like, buddy, there's other things you can do. <laughs> give her give her some flowers. Say hello. <sighs> Take her out to lunch. So, cool. so because he does all this stuff for her, she's taken to calling him her personal errand boy. Mm. And uh, <sighs> he's too um, love struck to really have a problem with it, I suppose. I, I'm trying real hard to remember about how we shouldn't kink shame. <sighs> I don't think this is a kink. Yeah, he obviously is the sub. <laughs> okay. So, if we come back and or, uh, leave and come back a little bit later, here he is again, yeah, apparently dying. Collector's shoes. The worst kind. <laughs> so, yeah. We'll just, uh, we'll do him a solid and go run to Don Quixote and buy him some sneakers. Alright, time to go get some shoes. What size do you prefer to make models? There's a type of... Oh, Alright, well, I guess we'll just get them <laughs> whatever is cheapest. I think they only have the one kind, so... Wow. That's racist. <laughs> I 
いらっしゃいませ Also, you can buy a bunch of、uh, weapons parts here, too. I don't know why I bought the Comfy Soul. Maybe you just thought that since the Soul ran out, like, why get him new sneakers? Because he likes that pair? Well, I mean, you have to buy him the sneakers no matter what, but you, the Soul doesn't do anything for him. It's.、Oh. I just figured you'd like just give him the souls and then he could repair the shoe. I mean, that would be a pretty neat option, but. No, he just wants a pair of sneakers. I have to try this around my town sometime. I'm just gonna run around and complain and then take advantage of nice people. <laughs> <laughs> Always remember to stretch before you run. Pace yourself. Remember to breathe.、Mm. Don't overdo it. <sighs> Let's check up on him again before we、uh, move on. I don't think he took any of that advice to heart. Yeah, we're gonna have to amputate, kid. How do you like <laughs> being a robot? <sighs> <sighs> Absorbent sheet. Not, 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 even, not even a pack of absorbent sheets, just an absorbent sheet. Yeah, and not a pad either. It's literally just the sheet. <laughs> so, yeah, we're gonna help. We're gonna do him a solid and、uh, bring this to the lady. <sighs> the payoff better be that we're gonna see Matsuko Deluxe. Ah.、Huh. No, I don't think we're gonna. <laughs> If you don't know who Matsuko Deluxe is, <laughs> Google her. Hi. Is this the one lady who is okay to Google? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Come on, let me, let me Google just to be safe. Okay, well, in the meantime, she, she is down on the footpath where we fought,、huh. or we did our training with, um. I,、Four. uh, the guy from Dragon and Tiger. Yeah, Matsuka Deluxe is safe to. Okay. Being played for a fool. <laughs> yeah, that was obvious. So, uh, we should set him straight, I think. What? Seems like the last kind of guy or the last guy to, to taunt. Japan, you're on notice. Your insult game's weak. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea. It's just like pulls a bat out of nowhere. Like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> 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 you didn't talk about weapons here. <laughs> That's fine. We'll play nice. We'll just dunk him in the river. Enjoy your movie, asshole. 
Bring ah. out. <laughs> ah, bringing fish to the, the show. Go. That won't make your other patrons hate you. Hmm, I guess he landed in a pile of piranha. <sighs> Yes. Huh? So what you did there, you're being so nice to me. <laughs> no one's ever dunked another person for for me. <laughs> we'll just set him straight. <sighs> Look, if you don't, he's just going to go back and they'll just keep using it. He did know, though. But he just kind of let himself just let it go on. Look, sometimes it's better for it to hurt temporarily than to be used permanently. Yeah, pretty much. But hey, he's at least got the dependability part down. <laughs> there you have it, folks. Sometimes it's just better to go your own way. There's somebody out there for you. And don't let yourself be played like a fool. God bless. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so, as an immediate reward for this sub-story, um... We can now have uh, Aaron Coon run errands for us. So we just gotta. I think he's always just here on the riverbed. So we can go talk to him. And then he'll just go buy us some food. Hi. I don't think you can do it constantly, but just every once in a while you can go get a free, like, bun from him. 